Bulgaria's parliamentary election has again failed to produce a clear winner. Voters went to the polls for the fifth time in two years to elect a new parliament after previous ones failed to form a working government. Preliminary results show the GERB, the party of ousted Prime Minister Boyko Borisov, slightly ahead of the Liberal coalition formed by Democratic Bulgaria and the We Continue the Change party. Well, let's talk to our correspondent Pablo Gutierrez in Sofia. Uh, so, Pablo, uh, some challenges ahead for these parties when it comes to forming a governing coalition. That is correct. Well, right now, the GERB, this is the party that is led by former Bulgarian Prime Minister Boyko Borisov, if indeed ends up on top at the, of this election, the fifth parliamentary election to be held in just two years, will have very, uh, very hard challenges to form a working government, and that is because of its recent past. In 2020, Borisov was ousted amid a corruption scandal that gave rise to that coalition formed by Democratic Bulgaria, and we continue the change. These two parties are Bulgaria's second political force, and working with the GERB is almost seen as something that is impossible because they were created with the sole purpose of keeping Borisov out of power. Now, if we look at the last two years of elections here in Bulgaria, we know that uh, only one government has been elected, and that failed uh, because the coalition basically was broken apart. And there's other four caretaker, govern caretaker governments that have been in charge of getting the gears of government running. However, these caretaker governments are limited in power. Um, they cannot pass a budget right now, the 23 2023 budget is spending, and because of this crisis, we have seen the target date for the euro to be as adopted. It, it has been moved. Uh, it has been moved. So there is, there are some real life um, repercussions to this political instability that is likely to continue, as some parties are already calling for a sixth. Uh, electoral parliamentary uh, uh, election in the fall. So over this past two years, uh, five elections, uh, the far-right party revival has been gaining ground. How did it do this time? Well, that is the, um, the remarkable part of this story because if we look at the election results over the last two years, for instance, uh, during the fourth parliamentary election that was just held in October, uh, Revival had 10 percent of the vote. Right now, they have over 14 percent of the vote. Now, the Revival leader came out on national television uh, a few minutes after the uh, polls closed, and he said that he is not going to work with I either the GERB, Democratic Bulgaria, or we continue the change. He says that he's going to look for support with other parties that are also on the fringe of Bulgarian politics. Now, Revival is a party that wants to pull Bulgaria out of NATO. It wants to pull Bulgaria out of the EU. It's considered to be a pro-Russian party, and they've been running on this platform uh, saying that they will restore uh, change, uh, they, they, they will bring change to Bulgaria, but also restore the politics here, and that is gaining traction with voters. Pablo, thank you very much. My correspondent, Pablo Gutierrez, in Sofia.